everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jeanette and I give prophetic words when the Lord wants me to come on here. So if you stop by and you're new, welcome. Um, this video is going to be really short. I just want to come on here and share a quick word with you guys um, that the Lord put on my heart since yesterday. Um, I just wanted to pray and make sure that this was something that he wanted me to come on here and speak um, to you guys about. So it's a quick word. Um, the Lord wants me to remind you guys um, during this time to not forget about the whole meaning of why we're coming together, why we're building community, why we're speaking the words, um, his word, his truth, his spirit, and pouring it out unto many others. Um, the goal, the main goal is to help save souls for the kingdom, for when the, when Christ comes back for the church, that his children are ready and by going out there and spreading the gospel and sharing the good news of Jesus and allowing others to see the testimony that you're walking in, that's really the main goal. And I think a lot of times, you know, life happens, we get caught up, I'm one of them, we get caught up with the things of what's happening and, you know, and, and we do our diligence and we pray and we seek the Lord. But the Lord had to remind me and myself, this goes for me as well, to not forget about the mission. The mission is for his children. And that's why he's doing all these amazing things and he's blessing his children and he's He's um, fulfilling his promises for his children. And this is the hour. But he wants me to share with you guys that His the glory goes back to him every single time. Um. I, I was just, I was watching um, a video on YouTube last night and it was, the video I was watching was a fresh reminder about this. It was literally like a fresh reminder about why I'm doing this and why many of us on here are doing this. And not only is it ministry, but it's compassion and having a heart like Jesus to spread his word and to allow it to just resonate in the hearts of his children and the hearts of his children who who got lost the hearts of those who don't know who he is this is the main goal the main reason and it was such a fresh reminder that i literally was just like god is so good you know what i'm saying like he always reminds us and always brings us back to his heart and I just want to encourage you guys that no matter what you do, no matter whether it's a musical talent, no matter if it's evangelizing, no matter if it's writing a book, no matter if it's whatever it is that you're, you're you know, the Lord is using you for, always remember the glory goes back to God. The glory always goes back to him. He reigns. Jesus reigns. Jesus is coming back for his church. And not only does he want us ready, but he wants to make sure that other people know who he is and to accept him as Jesus Christ and Lord. So I just wanted to encourage you guys with this quick word um, and for you guys to continue to stay hopeful and faithful in his word and don't give up. The Lord is working, he's moving and he sees all. And um, I do wanna share if you've been feeling as though in this season, some sort of mockery against you because you're serving the Lord. You're getting closer to the Lord. Remember, the Bible says you will be mocked and persecuted for his name's sake. So don't give up. Continue to stay close to him, no matter if it's a family member or a few family members, no matter if it's friends. Guess what? We don't, we, we collide with the world. We go, we, we bunt heads with the world because we are set apart. And that is something that I learned this year. And I can actually just say, you know, it, it, it when it happens, when you, you have those like people that kind of say something and it doesn't sit right in your spirit, but with compassion. And I'll give you Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. And it says, and this talks about Jesus's compassion. 
So I'll just re read it really quick. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and he healed the sick. He healed their sick. So just remember to go back to the heart of the Father. And when he is calling you to do things that require kingdom work, mission work, always have compassion on his people. That's what sets us apart and that's what guides others to the Lord. And I know it can be hard sometimes, but when you walk in love, it's easier to see people in love than to see them in any other way. And I promise you that will change the heart of people. Even if it doesn't happen at that exact moment, I promise you, you've planted a seed. And continue to pray for others. Continue to stand in his word and show people through, through the good works who he is. I just want to remind you guys that we have to speak the gospel. We have to continue to share the gospel. And the gospel is the truth of Jesus Christ. It's the truth about Jesus coming back for the church. So don't be afraid to share the gospel, you guys, because you'll get rewarded for that. The Lord sees all. He, he blesses for what you do, whether people make fun of you, whether, like I said, you, if you're mocked or persecuted, you're on the right side. That's all I'm going to say. Like you're on the right side. And at the end of the day, the world, it doesn't offer much or anything at all. And so when you're on this side, on the winning side with the Lord, I'm telling you, it's, you're on the winning side. You're on the side that you're supposed to be on. And our goal is to help many others be on this side as well. So don't think that, you know, a lot of times too, um, like me, including myself, I, I, I've been around religious spirits my whole life, putting God in a box and God is sovereign. He's everywhere. He's in all of us. Um, our job is to share that with people, with our testimonies. That's why there's so many, um, this is a season of blessings. So many blessings are going to take place and are taking place at this moment because we are walking testimonies for others. We have to share the good gospel the truth and he's starting with his children with the remnant children that are willing are submitting and love the lord with all their hearts remember god sees your heart and we're not perfect but as long as you stay close to him and his word um he starts to change your heart for the better and i just want to encourage you guys to not be afraid do not be afraid just know that he's with you and he gives you the wisdom to speak the words you need to speak at the right time. So I just want to encourage you guys. So I just pray for you all and I pray that the Lord continues to bless you, guide you, and be with you. I'll talk to you guys soon.